My name is William Emerson. I'm the field coordinator for the whole Becca Valley. The mountains that you can see on my left are basically Syria, directly Syria. So um, the Becca Valley is the entrance door from Syria, has been for a while, and it's always been the, the, the gateway between Syria and Lebanon. Now, in Lebanon, in the Becca Valley, for example, 50% of the population of Becca Valley are actually refugees. Most of them live in informal tent settlements, communal shelters, and unfinished buildings. The reason for this is that there is a no-camp policy in Lebanon, which basically prevents the settlement of refugees in camps. So they're basically scattered around in very tiny settlements, uh, where they live in conditions that are uh, quite poor in terms of uh, there's no electricity, no running water. Um, and as you can see, the Becca Valley is not the warmest place in winter. So uh, in addition to uh, living in makeshift environment, they also have to survive having no rights, no legal rights in Lebanon. So they can't work, um, they can't get integrated in the society. And most of them that came at the beginning of the conflict have no more resources. So they're heavily depending on the, uh, on the humanitarian aid, uh, which affects also the, co the coping mechanism of these people. And again, in the Becca Valley, we still have an important uh, number of Lebanese population, which is uh, considered as um, uh, on the poverty line or below the poverty line. So we talk about about 26% of uh, Lebanese that are vulnerable. So if you take 26% of Lebanese vulnerable and you add on an enormous refugee population that has absolutely no means, um, then you can imagine the situation here. <laughs> 